everyone, I'm Princine Lewis, and this is your ViewCast for the week of December 16th. In case you haven't noticed, the holidays are almost here. Whether you celebrate Hanukkah, Christmas, or Kwanzaa, there's one thing the experts agree on. Death rates from heart attacks and strokes spike during the holiday season. Cardiologist Keith Churchwell says reasons for the spike range from stress to people not taking their medications. I think those patients who are at risk for heart problems during this particular time of the year, what they will tend to do is put aside those things that they've been doing that have been heart healthy for them, whether it be medications or, or staying on a, a heart healthy regimen, putting those things to the side, trying to enjoy the holiday, and when they get start getting into trouble or having some symptoms, will tend to ignore them. And when that occurs, putting that off over a period of time can lead to a significant heart problem. So what should you do to make sure you have a jolly holiday? I think the key thing is to stay on their schedule. They were on the schedule before the holiday period in terms of their medications, in terms of their exercise regimen, in terms of all the things they were doing before to help prevent a heart, heart attack or a heart event. Staying on that schedule, understanding that that's as important as actually seeing family, and also understanding if they begin to have symptoms, they should really call their physician or go to the local emergency room and be evaluated. Those are the key issues. Churchwell also sees an increase in patient phone calls and visits after the holidays because people have been a lot more naughty than nice. It's a holiday tradition that dates back to 1921. The hanging of the green ceremony at Peabody represents the year past and the year to come. But there's a newer tradition that takes place before the ceremony that you just have to see to believe. It involves icing, students, and a lot of creativity. Our ViewCast news crew got in the middle of this highly competitive event, the annual gingerbread building contest. We're all um, really good friends outside of this, so that probably helps. And we came in with a strategy. This is the uh, Batman building from uh, our very own Nashville, Tennessee, where it's uh, trying to be. We have two graham cracker boxes stacked up together, covered in icing and then graham crackers. Um, we're trying to make the spires up here with peppermint sticks. Do we have anything orange? Orange Skittles? We've got about 100 people this year, about 15 or 20 different teams, and they're all working for about 45 minutes to try to build the best-looking gingerbread house. Oh, yeah. make it out of, you can make it out of pretzels. Uh, this, is, this is crunch time right now. We got third place last year. We're going for the gold right now. Yeah! I think we've got a good chance. We've seen all the other ones the last three years, and um, this idea is going to really hit the top. Uh, <laughs> and in first place, the team receiving a Mellow Mushroom gift card is team number nine. <laughs> if you want to see more on this holiday tradition, look for our student vlogger story on ViewCast at Vanderbilt.edu slash news. <laughs> All work and no play makes. Well, you know how the saying goes. If you're among the many people who are not taking time off during the holidays and you don't know what to do with your children, Camp Vandy may be your answer. Children from 5 to 12 years old can attend the camp at the Student Recreation Center. The cost is $175 for seven days, but space is limited and the deadline for registration is December 20th. For more information, go to vanderbilt.edu slash campus recreation. Is that Rocky we hear coming from the weight room? And what's Mr. Commodore doing? Yes, those wacky sports nuts at McGugan decided our beloved Mr. C was getting a little soft and needed a new look. The most difficult face job I've ever had. My God, you're beautiful. Drum roll, please. The results of buff Mr. C that is, shall we say, a little more intimidating. At the very least, there's an interesting twinkle in his eye that is worth three Commodores. Okay, well, it would be a little strange not to give Mr. C four Commodores, wouldn't it? There you go. 
That's our Get You Into the Holiday Mood viewcast for this week. I'm Princine Lewis, and we leave you with a few of the merry people who make this newscast possible. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs>